We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Today is a day you've all been waiting for. Mike is going up against the 1914 cookbook. And fear not, we're not going easy on him. In front of Mike, is Le Repertoire de la Cuisine, a book released originally in 1914, which isn't quite so much a cookbook, more a reference guide that expects you to know what the recipes are. We've cooked from it several times before, and last time we did it, it dawned on us, Mike has never had a go at this, and that if that video got 20,000 likes, we'd put him in solo. So, we've put our heads together, and we've found a lovely recipe for him to cook on his own. How are you feeling? Ah, oh, nervous. The recipe we've chosen is on page 222. <laughs> we would like you to cook omelette norvégienne. Genoise, oval shape, on same shape. Hang on. <laughs> Genoise, oval shaped on dish, same shape. Heap some ice cream, ah, oh, to taste. Cover well with meringue italienne or preparation omelette souffle. Decorate quickly in oven. What? I mean, <laughs> I know this has been translated, but by who? This is omelette norvégienne, a baked Alaska. So three components, and we want them layered in the right kind of ratios. On the bottom, Genoise sponge. So the key to a Genoise sponge is it's kind of similar to Swiss roll sponge, except it's got added melted butter at the end. And the method is very different. It's cooked over a bain-marie. That traps in air, which is the raising agent. And then it's baked in a sheet, so it's only a couple of centimetres thick, but golden all over. We give him the ice cream, and then he just has to make the Italian meringue. Very simple, sugar and egg whites. And you take the sugar up to 115 degrees on the hob, and then you pour it into stiff peaks of egg whites. It's all about precision, and it's all about timing. Cooled sponge, obviously frozen ice cream. Even the Italian meringue has to have cooled down so you can pipe it neatly and get nice lines that will colour evenly in the oven and insulate the ice cream in the middle despite the fact it's in a really hot oven. Easy, mm -hmm. right? Are you somewhat happy with what you have to start doing? No! Do you know what you're going to be presenting to us in one hour and 45 no. minutes? Well, let's find out. Cook! So, let's find out, firstly, what a genoise is. Okay, one pound of sugar. Oh, there's actually a recipe. 16 eggs whipped on slow fire. <laughs> it sounds like a sponge. This is also for a professional kitchen, so for your benefit today, you actually only need to do a quarter of those measurements. You're making it sound like you're doing him a favour, but actually that includes maths. <laughs> so you've made it harder. Yeah, I don't need to know that. It's not Barry. I'm rounding down, so 112 grams of everything. Do you cut it in an oval after it's baked? And also, it's going to be a very thin sponge. So it's like a baked Alaska. Whee! Omelette Norvégienne is another name for baked Alaska. Baked Alaska doesn't even explain better what it was. <laughs> right, let's make this genoise whipped on a slow fire. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be my slow fire. Do I whip it in the pan? Do I whip it beforehand? I think you whip and then you nay nay. Sugar's in, four eggs. I'm gonna whisk those together. Just whisking some sugar there, so. Yeah, there's lumps in it, mate. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So I'm just going to crack eggs in. I'm going to do it one by one because that's the type of thing that you would do. Now ben, you have previously accused Mike of unnecessary process. At the moment, it's just very organised. And if you're doing something you don't know, I think having an organised process is good. I would also have cracked all four in at once, but the fact that he hasn't enables him to think through and make sure he's not rushing into things. I don't think it's a bad thing. Nice, Ben. <laughs> sandwich. Classic <laughs> sandwich, Ben. <laughs> Sugar and eggs whipped on a slow fire. What's a nice, gentle way of heating things up? Like a simmer. Do you simmer eggs? Oh, I see, like in a bain-marie. Yes, gotcha. Okay, cool. Basically, heating that up so the egg doesn't scramble, I guess, and melting the sugar. And what do you look for from a sponge? You're, you're beating 
more into it. Air. There's no raising agent. There is. Eggs. Oh, you mean me. I'm the raising agent. You raise me up. No, I don't. <laughs> I bring you down. <laughs> I've been bringing you down for 10 years. I do not raise you up. This is knackering. Oh my goodness. Mike, if you want, I'm happy to take over some whisking whilst you carry on with anything else that might need doing. Yeah, is that okay? Thanks, mate. Whoever thought I'd be brought in to help because of my muscles? It's because you offered, mate. I'm completely under your direction, though, so you tell me when you want me to stop. Can we see a figure of eight in that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, thanks, mate. That's right. You... Let me know if there's anything else you need Oh, to I do. will. Straight in with folding in flour and butter, I assume. Oh, do I whisk it? Do I fold it? I, I want to fold it, don't I, but without losing any air. I hate this bit. It's going in. <laughs> would you have gone eggs into flour? Or would you have done the same thing? Same thing. Sift to make sure it's done. And melted butter. How melted is this? Mm. Jay? Yes, mate. Could you pop this in that microwave for a little bit, please? There's loads of flour pockets. I think that's all combined. What's your problem? No problem. Vanilla. Okay. That's quite a lot. Vanilla full stop, that's all the book says. Yeah. And I did exactly that. Vanilla. <laughs> I'm going to do it. What temperature do you preheat your oven to? 180, because that's what you bake everything at. Excellent. It's looking smooth, mate. Thanks, mate. So we're in, and it's going in. OK, Ebbers, set timer for <laughs> 10 minutes. Consider it done. OK, what if I ignored Italian meringue and made a Swiss meringue, or what I think is a Swiss meringue, which I know is egg whites whisked up and then slow pour sugar. Why didn't you have a look at the recipe in the book? Oh, mate, I got it right. That's an Italian meringue that I know how to make. Good. <laughs> OK, Ebbers, what's 16 ounces in grams? 450. Thanks, Ebbers. <laughs> OK, Ebbers, stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, Ebbers, volume down. <laughs> I haven't got a spoon in here, have we? Little, ah. little, little, little. Woo I like your vessel. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Ladling sugar <laughs> into a measuring jug. <laughs> to be honest, it's not a science, is it? You can just cover this. Oh, it's all coming back to you. But I just know that if you want to make a proper sugar syrup from espresso martinis, which I myself as Mike discovered how to make on my own by looking them up and then mastering them, nothing to do with being taught by two chefs, I know that you make a perfect sugar syrup one-to-one -one with a dash of vanilla. Well, Simple. these two chefs will take a step back and ah. we don't need to help you at all. <laughs> what does the recipe say? The recipe says, eight egg whites, beaten stiff, working slowly, 16 ounces of sugar cooked to grand boule. Hard ball grade, out of interest. What does that mean? So grand boule literally means big ball or hard ball, and that's when you would, if you were to dip a little bit of it at that temperature into cold water and set it quickly, you'll be, it'll form a hard ball. Yeah. Soft ball means it's malleable in your so fingers. How do you make marbles? I think that's probably the only bit of information that's not in that book that is difficult to measure. Whoa, nearly did that the wrong way around. Egg whites. You are separating eggs. <laughs> I know. I like to live on the edge, guys. Oh! Oh, that was cool. Oh. <laughs> Come on, okay. one more. Oh. Over there. We, can, we leave it there. The other thing I think I know is that it doesn't matter how whisky these get. Correct. After you have the sugar. That's 10 minutes on Genoise. Oh, lovely. I was going to say, I could smell something. Thank you. Are you happy it's done? I don't know. Here we go. So I don't want any stuff on my thing. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to say that's done. Uh, whoa, What's he doing? Whoa. What's he doing? What's he doing? Come on. That is, that is unacceptable. Okay. I feel violated. Yeah. Beautifully even, because the melted butter is laced through it, you get a wonderful even golden brown colour. Starting to get a, a bit of a caramelly smell, but not a huge amount. Sugar's going in there, trying to avoid the side of the bowl. A really slow trickle. We're looking good. This is looking good. I always went by the fact that you keep it going until the side of the bowl is no longer hot. It's still warmish, but I think that's nearly done now. Okay. Big reveal. Oh yeah. Um, okay, now what? Decorate quickly in oven. And I know that decorate, it means, it means get a lovely char and a colour on the meringue. What if I just didn't bake it? It's just made in Alaska. Yeah. That's baked. It's got ice cream in it, so it's going to melt. 
And that's the magic. How long does it go in the oven? Oh, this is so I think it hard. says in the recipe. It says in the recipe. It does say in the recipe. It does say in the recipe. Quickly. Really quickly. Like right, maybe I just push it down, create an imprint, and then go around that and then This is the bit that probably will go wrong. James, that was a noise. What was that noise? I like the idea. He was trying to template it. However, he just squeezed all the air out of his lovely sponge. Right, let's go for this. It's overlish. We're keeping this sponge, by the way. Trifle. No food wastage here. It's come away from the paper perfectly. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. That's very generous of you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have an ice cream cooler? He's busy. What, munching through bits of dry flour? That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for a baller. I can't do that. I've given you options. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Spit it on, mate. Just spit it on. I mean, this is doing nothing, so I want to, I want to <laughs> That is violent. <laughs> That'll do. Here we go. Layers. It's all about layers now, isn't it? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it wasn't accidental that I bought an oval-shaped pot. Yeah. And I thought if you just cut yeah, it cool cool. that way, the whole thing would sit on. There you go. Lovely. OK, here we go. How does this happen like this? Bang, on we go. In theory, the meringue will insulate the ice cream. I just want to seal it in then. Does it need to go into the grill? That would, I would put it in the grill because I think you get a quicker director heat. Okay. Direct on which bits? The top bits or the round bits or all of it? Very spiky meringue choice, mm -hmm. as opposed to piping bag as provided. But it looks like it's worked. So I'm going to just, I'm going to bake this in the oven. It's going in. How long is quickly? Two minutes. Right, it needs to come get up, stop tining down. I appreciate it, thank you very much, but this needs to come out. No, it can actually do with a little bit longer. <laughs> get back, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. <laughs> Bang, clean up. I can't give it any longer than that. Like a souffle, it's such a timely dessert. At that point, it's taken to the table and celebrated. It looks great. That was stressful. <laughs> thank you for all of your help. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I helped, most, I helped more than they did. I melted butter, I whisked eggs. First things first. Fair play. You've made a baked Alaskan. I'm also going in quick, because it so is so nervous. time sensitive. Is there still ice cream in the middle of this? There absolutely is. Oh, yes. yes. You put something in the oven with ice cream in it, and there is still ice cream inside <laughs> it. Here goes. Cheers. 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 It's cold. And yet the meringue is a little warm and a little toasty with those lovely caramelised bits. You can taste the different parts of the toasting of the meringue, which I'm very happy about, and I'm mostly happy about the fact that this is solid. I know you might not want to use this as a benchmark. No. But if I had made that, <laughs> I would be so proud of myself. I am really proud. You've absolutely nailed the vanilla full stop. <laughs> it has got good vanilla flavour, not just the ice cream, but the sponge as well. Could have done with a little bit longer, couldn't it? And I should have sieved the flour because there are pockets of flour I think in it. The sponge is good. Yeah. What about my meringue? It's a bit, it's a bit airy. Like it's, it's got a funny texture. I think what you did was start whipping the whites and stop. too early. Oh. Well, you over whipped the whites. So by the time you put the sugar in, I think I the whites were a little bit that. over whipped. You can't do it once can. you put the sugar in. Right. That's, you can't over whip oh, it once yes. you put the sugar in. But you were bang on the whole kind of. I only want to start whipping it when the temperature's near. It was just a little bit off. Yeah. Damn. It's a classic. Well, thanks for making that happen, everyone. Um, I am actually glad it did, actually. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud. I am proud. And I, I'd like to do it again better, but not in this format. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the big question is, have we used every part of the 1914 cookbook? We've exhausted it. Have we? we done it? Is there something else we can do? Oh. Is there another cookbook that might be similar? Comment down below, what do you want to see next? More of 1914 or a completely different cookbook? In which case, which one? Let's go older. No, let's go like modernist cuisine, newer. Oh. You're, you're classically trained now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nicest lie anyone's ever told me to my face. You're a classically face. trained pastry chef. Thanks, guys. Good job. Thank well you. Done, Thank you. See, he can do it when he thinks about it. Yep. If you think Mike deserves a like, give this video a like. Otherwise, we'll see you on Sunday at 4pm for another remote control special. It's going to be mayhem. Fun, fun, fun. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No.
we've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. Baz, we've done the maths, mate. We don't need you this side of the <laughs> Yeah, no, no, we're, we're good. <laughs> <laughs>